I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find a point on the unit circle. The point P theta lies on the intersection of the unit circle and the line segment joining the origin to the point minus 5 minus 2. Sketch a diagram representing this information. Find the coordinates of P theta on the unit circle. So let's try to understand this question. Let us say this is our coordinate system and we will first sketch the point minus 5 minus 2. So let us say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 2 will go up 1 and 2, I mean down. So that is minus 2. So this is the point minus 5, minus 2 for us. Correct? So first part is we have to sketch a line segment joining origin to the point minus 5 minus 2. I'm making kind of rough sketches. I hope things will be you know clear. That is how. Well, well line segment means you have to just join these two points. So my segment should be here like this. Right? So this is the line segment which is O to P and point P is minus 5 minus 2 for us, correct? So this is minus 2 and that point is minus 5. Now we need to find the coordinates of P theta on a unit circle. So unit circle means a mere very small, so it's kind of one unit circle, so like this. So that is the unit circle for us and we need to find the coordinates of this point which lies on the unit circle and on the line segment OP, right? So, so that point we are calling as P theta, right? So theta is, is this angle, principal angle. So whenever we're talking about theta, theta is the principal angle which we are going to measure from positive x-axis, right? And that becomes our terminal arm, right? We have to find this particular coordinate. How are we going to find it? So what we can do is think about a right triangle here and what we can do is in polar coordinates we know what is P theta. P theta equals to R cos theta and R sin theta. So these are the X and Y values of any point on this line segment right where r is the radius now for unit circle r is 1 so r equals to 1 for unit circle and therefore we can write that our p theta is actually equals to cos theta sin theta so i hope you understand the concept now cos theta is a ratio it really doesn't matter whether the point is on the circle or anywhere anywhere else right so these are similar triangles and therefore the cos theta value is going to be same correct so let's find cos theta using the point coordinates minus 5 minus 2 cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse we need to find this side length the hypotenuse which is how much so which we can find as let's say r square is the hypotenuse and that should be equals to minus 5 square plus minus 2 square right so this is 25 plus 4 which is 29 so we have r square as 29 and r will be equals to square root of 29 now Cos of theta is what? Cos cosine theta is the adjacent side over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is minus 5, the x coordinate, right? So now we can write down cos theta and sine theta, right? So now from here we have cos theta equals to minus 5 over square root of 29. And sine theta is equal to minus 2 over square root of 29, right? So that actually gives us the coordinate on the unit circle. Now coordinate on the unit circle will be cos theta sine theta, right? And therefore, so what is the coordinate on the unit circle for us? So we say P theta on when R equals to 1 
is equal to see we are in quadrant 3 and both values are negative right so that is also for you to check whether we are going on the right track or not so it is minus 2 over square root of 29 so that is how we can do these questions I hope you have understood the concept so I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about trigonometry, advanced functions and pre-calculus. Thank you and all the best.